Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in the A10C and we're looking at countermeasures. Now this is a big system on the A10C. It involves a missile warning system, MWS, a jamming system or electronic jamming system, JMR, a radar warning receiver, RWR, and countermeasure expendables in the form of chaff and flare. Of those four items today we're going to be covering the jammer, the missile warning system and the expendables. The RWR, I've already got another 10 minute video just on that so we won't cover that today. The two panels we're interested in today are the CMSC here and the CMSP here or as I like to call them just EW electronics warfare panels upper and lower. Before we look at any controls we need to look at the armament so we're going to go into the armament screen. First thing we get to set our expendables are chaff and flaff flare here we can carry more than any other aircraft in the game and it's truly wonderful we can have that many flares that many chaff or a mixture of both so we're just going to leave it in the standard i think it was uh i think it was that and we if we want to jam we have to have a jamming pod we can have jamming pods on pylons one or eleven and if i just use one here we can go to pods we've got the alq131 the alq184 now i don't actually know the technical differences between the two but i've always been told that the 184 is more modern and is the one to use so we'll arm up with that request rearming while we're waiting for that let's look at today's controls we're going to go hotas countermeasure switch z axis this is going to change our control of the jammer Hotel CMS forward and aft. Forward will start an expendables program running and aft will stop that program running. Like most of the modern planes in DCS, you don't just fire a chaff and a flare off manually. It's all done in pre-programmed or editable programs. And to cycle between those programs, we have CMS left and CMS right. If we look at our jammer first, at the moment we've got the jammer status box here and it's currently off. Well, that's because we haven't got a jammer on the plane at the moment. So the first thing we're gonna do is wait for rearming. Jammer is now installed, but notes that the display still shows off, so we need to let it know that it's now been equipped. So we're going to go down to the master control for the jammer here. We're going to press left click to turn it off, left click to bring it up to the middle, and that is on. And it is now recognizes that the jammer is there. So back to that master switch there. Like I said, left click for off, that turns the thing off. Left click again to on, and I could right click to force it into the menu position, but that has no function with the jammer. This part of the jammer display shows whether it's off, whether it's standby, or whether it's operational. So whether it's off, it's off. If it's standby, then it's warmed up and it's receiving, but it's not emitting. If it's operational, then it is receiving and emitting. The idea of a jammer is that it detects when a hostile radar is, radar is trying to lock our aircraft, and it disrupt, tries to disrupt that lock by white noise or you know classified emissions. Now we can force it manually to operational mode by using the Z axis button and if I press that now it goes to operational and you can see it's operating and I press it again and it goes back to standby. Now that is that only works if we're in certain modes on the master mode here if we're on semi or manual then we can do that if we're in automatic then we cannot do that. This second half here shows what mode the jammer is jamming in. Is it jamming in anti-air? Is it jamming in SAM 1, SAM 2 or AAA? You could say that's the program that the jammer is running in. And as long as it's not in manual mode, it will determine automatically what the radar source that is trying to tr uh, lock us is and choose the right program for us. So if it's a, a AAA Shilka or something like that, then it would automatically detect the AAA for us. Next we have our missile warning system. This is a system that detects the thermal signature of a missile being launched. It can't tell you whether it's hostile or whether it's friendly, or but it just gives you a warning that there is a missile within a danger area. The only things we see here is off if we've got it turned off. And here is the master mode here, so we can turn it off and it's now off. Left click back to on and right click to menu doesn't do anything. As long as it's active, then it's turned on and waiting. It's a passive system, so we don't actually have to do anything. And if it detects a missile, it will say launch there, and we'll get our missile launch light on there. And we'll hear a tone as well. Out of interest, we've got a brightness knob that we can press and scroll, and an audio knob. This, this warning system will create audio noises as well, which we'll show later, and we can turn that up and down as well. And we're not covering the RWR system today, but just to say, as there are a few buttons on here that relate to the RWR, this here is a primary selection, uh, for the RWR, if you press that on, then it will only show the five most threatening radar emissions on the RWR. If you click separate, then on the RWR it will separate the radar sources in terms of azimuth, so the azimuth will no longer be accurate. And unknown is a feature in the real A10, but you can't press it in uh, DCS, it's not programmed. And as well as that, we've got the master on-off switch for the RWR. We can have it off, 
we can have it on and, and the menu allows a built-in test for the ground crew then we've got the expendables screen here so we've got this is our kind of heads up display quick look at what the expendables are doing and how many we've got there very simple that is how many chaffs bundles we've got left that is how many flares we've got left that is the current expendables program that we have selected to run at the moment we can cycle with cms left and cms right with that there are 26 of them a through to z all pre-created again you have to be in the right mode to be able to toggle it so in auto we won't be able to change that it's all automatic in semi-auto or manual we can edit it with those commands and this letter in the middle here is telling us the master mode that we're in at the moment you can see we're currently in master mode semi if we were in auto then we get an a there as well as that, when we're actually using the expendables, we'll get a star here to show us when they're actually being expended. So that's the upper panel finished. Now let's go and have a closer look at the lower panel. So the, the most important thing here is our master mode. So off is obviously off. Standby means that the power is on and the systems are working, but nothing will actually be emitted. No chaff will be sent out. No jamming will actually be done. Manual is the first of our actual usable modes. In manual mode, we start and stop the expendables program ourselves with a CMS forward and CMF aft switch. We may also manually turn the ECF, the jammer, sorry, on or off, and we may change the program. And the missile warning system will work passively, but it will not drive the expendables. It will not automatically send out any expendables. In semi-automatic mode, the system will automatically choose the best expendables program for us based on the detected radar threat but it's still up to us to start and stop that program as well as that it will automatically select the best jamming program for us but we'll have to turn it off and on ourselves manually again as well as that the missile warning system will be running it will work passively and it will choose the best expendables program for us but again we'll have to manually actually start and stop the expendables program and in fully automatic the system will choose the best expendables program for us based on the threat and it will start and stop the program automatically it will also choose the most appropriate jamming program and will jam automatically and the missile warning system will work passively but it will also drive the expendables system and it will select the uh, correct or the appropriate expendables program and release the expendables itself so when you're in a flight, that's the first thing to decide. Do you want it fully automatic, semi-automatic or manual? As well as that, we have a jetson button here. If we want to jettison all of our expendables, our chaff and flare because of a, a fire or whatever, then we can press jetson and that will jettison that lot. We have a brightness knob for the screen. And to explain the display a little bit better, um, this is the standard layout telling us how many chaff bundles, flare, how many others we've got and which program we're in. Now, out of interest, if I went to the display here we've been through these guys already but if we went to the just sorry the dispensers here and we went off it would go to this screen for five seconds before it turned to our default screen this tells us that all those systems are ready or off so this is off currently now it's ready now we wait five seconds now it's back to the standard screen now we've got a button here we, that we can use to change the program that we're in so we're in program a all the way up to z and again, we can do that with our CMS left and right um, HOTAS commands, although can't do it in auto, can only do it in semi or manual. So now it's in semi automatic. I can change them with the HOTAS commands like so. Out of interest, I'll show a list of the 26 programs that are available on the screen now. So you can snapshot that and see what each of the program does if you like. So that's a pretty comprehensive list of programs we've got to choose from there. But we still may want to change edit a program and we have that ability so the next thing is we're going to edit our program a we can edit all of these programs and we can actually add new programs as well so say we wanted to add a new one we would cycle all the way up to z and then go up again and that would create a new program and as far as i'm aware you can just create in them infinitely but i don't need, see why you would want more than 80 uh, more than 26 so to edit our currently selected profile a we're going to go this chap here the dispenser master to uh, menu with right click and we can now see that within this selected program A, we've got two shafts, zero flare, one second interval, and 10 cycles. So what they're saying is it's going to fire two chaff a total of 10 times with an interval of one second between each firing. So that's a total of 20 chaffs being fired one second in between. Well, I don't want that. What I actually want is, and I'm going to change it by clicking on this guy here. And so it flashes, and then I can put that to one. 
and flares I want to 1 interval I want to 0.5 seconds and cycles I want to 12 and accept that with return there and then my what will happen is it'll fire one chaff and one flare at the same time then in intervals of 0 0.5 0 0.25 seconds it will run that 11 more times so it's going to fire a chaff and a flare 12 times with 0.25 seconds in between so let's accept that and return back to the main screen here we've still got our program a selected so we're going to want to go and try that program out now so we're going to go to semi so that we can semi automatic so that we can drive it ourselves uh, we can't do it on the ground we're going to take off so stand by for that okay so we're in the air now we do not need our master arm on and all we're going to do is I'm going to go extert with our uh, program A selected and you can see it's there I'm going to go external view and we're going to see our program being run with by pressing countermeasures forward and that's so that fired a total of 12 chaffs and 12 flares so let's see running it from inside And then if we wanted to cancel that program while it was running, we would press CMSR. So that's all I've got to say on the expendables. All I've got to do now is I'd like to show the jammer in automatic mode if we uh, go and find a bad radar that's going to lock us up and try and shoot us down. So we're going to go to automatic mode. Going to just check everything here. It's on standby. It's on. Yep. So now it's going to, once we get locked by that hostile radar, it's going to do everything for us. It's going to turn our jammer on at the necessary time it's going to select the necessary program for us the missile warning system is going to look out for any hostile launches and if that happens it will choose what it thinks is the most suitable expendables program for us and then fire that expendables program and here we go so you can see on our rwr that sa6 is currently locking us you can hear uh, by the the ticks the quick beeps that is locking us and is busy doing its thing it's now operational jamming it's jamming sam mode one that's what it detects is the most suitable and it's firing whatever uh it's firing program a it thinks program a is the best i don't know why but it just thinks that's best we'll see if we get a missile launch if we can When we get low on a certain item, below 75, it goes to low, and then NP once we've run out. The only problem, of course, with the automatic system is that it will just keep on chaffing and flaring, and you can easily run out, which is why most people do not use the automatic system. It's much better to use uh, semi, semi automatics, the best. Are we going to get a launch? We do have a missile launch, but the MWS hasn't picked it up. Um, so there's two ways a missile can be detected, either by the RWI, if it's a radar-guided missile, which is what's been detected here, and we've got a missile launch here, but the MWS hasn't detected it, probably because it's too far away. And that's it. I've got nothing else to show. We might as well get hit by the missile for fun, and um, that's the end of it. And we're all out of chaff and all out of flares now. We're still jamming, but it's not enough to break that. Ah, oh, there, the, um, the uh, missile launch system has now detected the launch. We're close, the missile is close enough. But it can't drive the expendable system because we've run out. Now that is going to hurt. And thump in the face. So that's showing the different systems. We've got the expendable system. We've got the jammer system. And we've got the uh, missile warning system. Out of interest, I call the, um, the dispenser is, is what I call the expendable system. I hope that helps and see you later.